Hey guys, welcome back to Beach and Fishing, which is my site and channel aimed at everything to do with the world of fishing and outdoors and camping and anything else you can think of. Now today I'm just very quick video today just to discuss with you about fishing reel ratios. Now, to be honest, it's something that I just I hadn't done a lot of research in. I mean, if you've seen anything in my site, you know I'm an avid fisherman, certainly not a professional fish as often as I can and like to think I know a little bit about it as I've run along. But the thing is that when it comes to purchasing fishing reels in the past, I rarely have actually considered the ratio. Um, to my way of thinking, it was something that was higher on smaller reels and lower on bigger reels. So for example, I've got a little tiny 500 reel here. It is a 7.1 to 1. This one's, I didn't bring in my Battle 3, which is what I wrote about in the post, but anyway, um, this is a 6,000 reel. This is one I use, a dyer that I use in the surf and occasionally out in the boat. It's a 5.1 to 1, I think, from memory. Where's the box over there? 5.1 to 1, yep. And then I've got my big boat reel, ocean fishing reel here, 9,500 size pen spin fisher. It's 4.1 to 1. So, as I say, my way of thinking was always that they were just ranged with the, with the size of the, of the reel. However, there are some things, if you really want to get into the nitty-gritty of it, it's something that you might want to start to play with as well. And that came from when I bought my other reel, which I didn't even bring into the video. Um, what's a ratio? So a ratio is when you turn that line, you can see as I turn that handle, that bale is going out round faster than what the handle is. So if I have that there over the top, and let's count that, my top bale uh, runner there as the top. So there's one two, three, four, five, and a bit till it gets back to the top, which is a 5.1. So what that means is it's brought the reel in five times to every time that this handle is, is turned around. What that means is that you can bring a lot more line in without having to really all day to try and get the line in. It brings the line in faster. Um, it does have a little bit to do with the drag. If When the drag goes out, the amount of line it's taking out on the drag compared to what the reel is turning. But generally, it's about when you're, when you're bringing it in. Now, if ratio is something you're looking at, and the reason that I've always thought and understood that they've been bigger on larger reels is because this one's so big and there's so, it's line there. So having it, I've got my line hooked up, so I haven't taken it off. But if I bring this in, the four times there is is enough to bring in quite a bit of line because the spool's so big. And also with larger fish, you don't want to be reeling in really quick because that puts too much pressure on your line and too much pressure on your drag. This light one, however, because it's a, I mean, they're designed for what they're designed for. So this one here isn't great for casting, isn't great for casting retrieving lures because it doesn't bring it in as fast as what it would on say a small one. So a small one like this, which is 7.1 to one, it's obviously gonna bring the, the line in a lot faster than what the bigger ones are. And when you get to the three or 4,000 models, which is what the pen is, so let's assume this is a three or 4,000 model, when you're bringing it in at 5.1 to one, which is around what the 4,000 model, my 4,000 model is as well, I think it could be up to six, um, it means that it's just bringing that you can really get that that lure twitching. If you've got a lure, you can bring it, you can bring it, you can bring it, you can twitch it, you can twitch it, you can bring it, you can bring it. And because that line moves faster when it's coming in, it allows you to bring that, that lure and the like in a little bit quicker as well. Also, a, a higher ratio is good in a spot where you need to get your line up out of tangles. If you're bass fishing, for example, and you're hiding in, take chasing the bass in under branches and the like, um, and as I said, I sometimes use this one in the um, boat because it's a high ratio. And if we're just floating baits out in a reef, I want something I can get over quite quick because if fish hits, it'll take me back into the reef. So if you need to get your lure or, or live bait out of somewhere quickly, get something with a slightly higher ratio. And that was what came to my conversation with the Pen Battle 4. Um, I, can, I forgot the box there. It is, yeah, it's 6.2 to 1 for my Pen Battle 3. I was looking at a Shimano Nasky and it was 5.2 to one or something. And because I was buying it to chase mangrove jack and light, which are a hard hitting fish and they will take you back into the mangroves and the, and the tree structures, 
he suggested I get something with a slightly higher ratio that I could get that, stop the fish and get it out of that structure faster. So look, I don't really, can't really think of anything else to talk to you about the ratio. With the drag, if you're going ratio to drag, just remember that um, with the ratio and the size of the line you've got, it's going to affect the drag when, it, when it's taking the line out. If you've got a big heavy braid on, on a big, a big line like this one, this is an 80 pound braid with an 80 pound leader, um, it's gonna hold the fish so the drag probably isn't as critical as something like this. And again, if the drag is going one way and you're trying to pull it the other way, the higher ratio means you've got more chance of getting it in a little bit faster there as well. So think about that. Um, that's about all I can think of with that. Um, as I say, line capacity drag systems. Make sure you're, the best way to get the best out of your, your ratios and your drag for that matter is to make sure the line matches your real size. Don't go too heavy, especially if you're going with mono. Like you would never put an 80 pound mono on a, on a 6,000 line sized line. It's just gonna mess up the drag, mess up the ratio. That's it guys, hope that was helpful. But as I say, it is purely the amount of times that that turns when you turn that. As I said, this is five to one and we counted out how many times it turned. If you wanna get the fish in fast or you wanna get a lure, a lure skipping along, go a slightly higher ratio. If you're in a big deep sea fishing and you've got a big, nice big spool on, a lower ratio will help allow you to manage the fish just that little bit better. Okay guys, hope that was helpful. Comment below if you now if ratio working any differently or you it's anything else you consider with ratio, either in YouTube or in the post, I'd love to hear from you about that. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel below as well. Okay guys, happy fishing, check you soon, bye.